The Teachers Association is now speaking out after a controversial bill to ease overcrowding in Baltimore County gets a veto from the county executive. Fox 45 Jessica Babb is live with why they say more needs to be done to address the problem. Jessica. While everyone can agree overcrowding in schools is a problem, county leaders haven't been able to agree on a solution. But since it's been an issue for years, the Teachers Association in Baltimore County says students can't wait any longer. With students filling up seats at schools across Baltimore County. School overcrowding is such a concern. An attempt to fix the problem failed. I have vetoed Baltimore County Bill 3124. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Olszewski vetoed a bill passed by the Baltimore County Council, which would reduce the acceptable school capacity from 115% to 105%. It would also get rid of an exemption, which allows developers to build in overcrowded areas if a nearby school is below capacity. This bill was far, far, far from right. And I would challenge anyone, how many times do we have a bill with 58 amendments? Olszewski cited legal concerns and said it could prevent affordable housing. School system officials say they weren't included in the conversation. In its current form, it is unlikely to yield the desired results of fully alleviating overcrowding in our schools. But Cindy Sexton, the president of the Teachers Association of Baltimore County, says she feels that was the wrong choice. We understand the need for development, absolutely, and for affordable housing, and that's what's going to keep our county strong. However, it can't be at the expense of our students. We really need to look at the big pictures. Council members say this bill was based on this task force report from 2020, a report written in part by some Baltimore County educators. The report pointing out that while the county and school have made genuine efforts to respond to enrollment pressures, they've been, quote, reactive and insufficient. From what I understand and what I've read, the recommendations essentially made up the meat of the bill. Baltimore County Public School Superintendent Dr. Miriam Rogers says since that report, significant progress has been made. The school system says they're making a lot of big investments and they're adding seats as well as doing boundary studies. Do you think more needs to be done to address overcrowding? I think more needs to be done. You know, we have had this problem at different schools in different locations in Baltimore County for a long time. Even after recent efforts like back in March, when BCPS voted to change boundaries for some schools, Paul Taylor, the director of strategic planning, admitted it didn't solve the problem. The plan addresses the concerns of overcrowding on some of the schools but not all of them. Then, during this school board committee meeting back in April, when talking about the Baltimore County bill in question, one school board member said while she wasn't sure this bill was the answer. We have to do something because what we're doing now obviously is not working. We're seeing boundary study after boundary study after boundary study. Even though Olszewski says it will take many tools to find a fix. With this veto, the county council could be sent back to the drawing board in search of a new solution. I hope it happens yesterday. It needs to happen quickly for our students. And it's not clear if there will be enough support to override the veto, but County Council Chair Izzy Patoka says he plans to try. Live in Baltimore, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.